And we are live, baby. I've got not freshman, not sophomore, not junior, but senior <laughs> vice president of marketing, Mitch Robinson, man. Hey, welcome to the show, brother. How you doing? I'm doing great, Mike. Thanks for uh, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Hey, no problem, man. I'm I'm really excited to kind of dive into uh, to EXPCon um, and, and just you know talk about and learn a little bit more, uh, not only for myself but also for our audience. Um, one question I had for you before we get started, it, it, and I'm really curious about this, is you know we talk about you know EXP being like this virtual brokerage, right? Right. And, you know, we meet in in the cloud and and most of the things we do um, just from a brokerage perspective are done in the cloud. Right. So why EXPCon? Why yeah, do why, we have to meet in person? Yeah. Why have an event where we look at each other? That's, that's a great question. Um, you know, you're right. Um, one of the beauties of, of EXP is that we have this virtual world where our agents can engage with each other 24 hours a day. Our agents engage with our, our staff, whether it's tech support, transaction management, um, all different areas of the company. Agents like you can engage any time. But as an agent, you know that what's also super valuable is being able to look someone right in the eye and have a meaningful conversation. And for instance, when you deal with uh, your clients, potential or current clients, consumers, um, as much as you probably do some things on, on your, your phone, you know when push comes to shove, having a meaningful conversation means a lot. So we do EXPCon every year, so our agents can obviously engage with our, our leadership, people like me, um, as well as each other. And one of my favorite things is when you're in the hallways and you hear an agent hear someone else's voice, and they go, wait, is that Mike? I know that voice. I hear that person talking, or I see their avatar all the time. But when you get to meet in person, um, obviously great things can happen. Yeah. And, and, you know, that I couldn't have said it better myself. I think that, you know, as much as as we tout being in the cloud and, and, and having the ability to be able to do that, there's something still really special about being able to connect with someone in person. Uh, it just it just personalized the relationship. And, and so I, I couldn't agree more on that. So I, I think what everybody's here for um, and, and really what I'm here for and 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 and, and are hoping that you share today is is what we can expect from EXPCon in New Orleans in 2018. So um, please share. Sure. Yeah. So first, let's just talk about the, the fun part. We're going to New Orleans. Like I, yeah. my team has been so busy. We haven't really had time to go, wow, maybe we'll have time to have a hurricane or, or you know, <laughs> do one of the amazing things. And to me, one of the great things about New Orleans is there's a New Orleans for everybody. If you want to be in the French Quarter and you're a foodie, New Orleans is there for you. If you're into history, there's a New Orleans for you. And if you like Bourbon Street, there's a New Orleans for you, yeah. right? So uh, there's, there's a New Orleans for everybody. Once people get there, though, once our guests get there, we're going to keep them pretty busy. We'll try to give you a little free time, but we're going to keep you super busy. It all starts on uh, Sunday night. Um which is the 21st, which kind of a casual drop-in thing where for the first time we'll have EXP karaoke. So Sandra Richardson, who's one of our agents in New Orleans, will be running that for us. She does it all the time. And that'll be in the Hilton Riverside, which is our host hotel, where a lot of our uh, guests and attendees are staying. And that'll be at, at 8 o'clock on Sunday night. So that's just a fun thing. Uh, before you go out for dinner or when you come back, uh, if you want to sing, and embarrass yourself with all your friends before the event starts, uh, you'll have that uh, opportunity. Mitch, what can we expect that you'll be singing? You know, I'm, I, I'm, I'm known for uh, pulling out some old Barry Manilow, you know, but I'm not sure anybody wants to hear that. So I may venture into uh, Billy Joel. I'm kind of giving up my age probably more than you want. Sure. I, just saw the, I just saw the new movie, A Star is Born, and it's an unbelievable movie, and I wish I could pull off – do like a little Bradley Cooper thing with somebody doing Lady Gaga. I'm just not sure I'm going to be able to pull that off. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe you get a couple of drinks in your audience and you sound a lot better. Well, I'm counting on that. Like anybody that <laughs> sings right at 8 o'clock is definitely a rookie. You know, you know Mike. Yeah, you got to sure, wait until man. everybody's feeling a little better. So that's the that's first thing really that's going to – Yes, yes, that's, that's, <laughs> that's exactly right. Um, then on uh, Monday – Monday, we have kind of a whole pre-day that we never used to have for EXPCon. We've jammed in a lot of things on 
uh, Monday, uh, nice and early at 6.30 a.m., and we've already had hundreds of agents sign up for this, is our first uh, Extend a Hand 5K uh, run and walk, which will be right outside the Hilton. This is a pretty important thing because we are just forming Extend a Hand for those EXP agents that are on Workplace with us all the time. Uh, they know Extend a Hand is uh, uh, something we're forming so agents can help other EXP agents in need. You know, with the hurricane this week and other things going on, we know that uh, agents are always looking for ways to help others. And our Extend a Hand Fund Run is a fundraiser that uh, lets us do that. So that'll be uh, early Monday at 6.30 in the morning. Then at eight o'clock, registration opens for EXPCon, meaning to pick up your, your packet and goodies and things like that. We really encourage everybody that's coming because we have so many people attending. Sometime during the May day Monday between like eight and three, eight and four, come over to the host hotel and get your registration stuff and, and be all set up. Plus we have other things that are going on at the host hotel the Hilton Riverside Monday as well. Uh, Monday morning, starting at 8.30, um, we're going to have our RE bar camp, uh, NOLA style. And for agents that haven't been to an RE bar camp before, it's kind of what happens at that event will be decided by the people in attendance in terms of what they want to talk about, how they want to talk about it. Glenn Sanford, our uh, founder, will be there helping to lead things. Uh, Jay Thompson, a well-known uh agent from Arizona, formerly with EXP, that retired and helped start RE Bar Camp. He'll be there along with other people. And we're expecting, honestly, even though it's kind of a, uh, <coughs> excuse me, a random sort of event, I wouldn't be surprised if four or 500 people show up just for that on uh, Monday morning, starting around 830. That's great. So that's good. You, so you said um, that it's going to be very interactive. So essentially, the audience will decide what's being talked about. Now, is that how is that led? Is there is there is there some, are there agents that come in and lead that, or are there industry professionals? How what is the? Uh, it, yeah, how it's it? it's not like EXPCon where we have a big stage and speakers. This is kind of self done by the community that shows up that morning. Okay. So I think we have three or four big rooms. They'll decide on topics. They'll go into rooms, and it's for uh, agents to learn and share their opinions on virtually any topic. That, that community decides that that morning it's going to be so it's like a giant super, mastermind super cool yeah yeah exactly exactly it's going to be um super cool and that'll go till about 2 2 30 in the afternoon okay. then all day monday when you come to the host hotel you can stop in at rebar you can get your registration but we'll also have uh our our sponsor some vendor tables there uh we'll have our exp relaxation lounge i believe will be uh open in that area um, and we also have two things we're just adding. You're the first person to really know about this, uh, Mike. So breaking news, we're adding two kind of Monday drop-in sessions. Uh, one will be with Scott Petronas, our chief technology officer and product officer. He's going to lead something called In Focus, where he's asking agents just to drop in and share with him and his team some of the technology that you as an agent may love or wish you had. Very free form. Again, think of it more as a uh, focus group for those uh, EXP agents that go to our big virtual leadership meeting uh, tomorrow, Friday morning. Scott will be talking uh, more about that. That'll start about 10 o'clock in the morning and also be in the host hotel, the Hilton Riverside. And then right next to Scott in another room will be kind of a, a lab from KV Core and Inside Real Estate. We, as you know, have thousands of agents that use KV Core, and we know agents you know, need help. And they want to get better at it. And we'll have the team from KV Core in a, in a separate room, also at the Hilton, also on Monday. So, again, when you come over and get your registration, there's still a lot more you can do uh, during the day uh, Monday. Awesome. So what? And then um, that's so that's eight, eight, again, 830 to 230. Yeah. Rebar, uh, Ari Bar Camp is 830 to 230. Those two other sessions will both start about 10 and end about two or three. As long as people are dropping into those rooms, they will keep going. And then Monday uh, night is our big awards gala dinner and post awards party. And yeah, this is what uh, everybody is excited about every year. Uh, whether you think you're going to get an award for production or not, you want to be there. It's a high class event. Uh, dress your best, which is hard for someone like me. Look how I'm dressed today. But I will be dressing it up. Uh, by that Monday night, 
and uh, Vicky Bartholomew, our president, leads that. Um, it's a star-studded gala affair. I don't know what else to say about it. And then right afterwards, right across uh, the huge hallway, will be our post awards party. Uh, one of the top New Orleans bands will be in there, dancing, drinks, lights, action, you name it. And that'll be right after the awards uh, dinner. That's awesome. And just just so everyone knows, as I remember it, that event, that gala event is a semi-formal event, correct? So that would be yes. uh, for men, probably suits, correct? And then for the women, it would be uh, dresses. Um, and then for the event during the day, we're business casual, correct? Yep. Yep. That, that's it. We, uh, we know you're in New Orleans and we want you to be comfortable. The one time we think it's worth, really worth dressing up is for the awards night. Uh, on on Monday night and the rest of the time kind of smart casual business casual uh, does the trick with maybe one exception I'll talk about in a moment okay and then one more time the the times for the gala and the awards the uh, gala starts at 6 30 okay um, the the gala slide which is the award starts at 6 30 and then the party starts immediately uh, afterwards Ooh, okay awesome and and the one thing I should remind everybody at least once or twice everything we're talking about for the most part, uh, you need to be a registered attendee. So if anybody's watching thinking, oh, maybe I'll just show up in New Orleans and go to all this fun stuff. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, we have to take uh, check for badges because uh, we want to respect the people, obviously, that uh, have uh, paid to help us uh, run the event. We obviously keep the cost um, as low as possible. I will tell you for the RE Bar Camp, that's the one thing where we're not looking for badges. Anybody can come to RE Bar Camp. If you know agents that are not with EXP, that happen to be in the New Orleans area and you want them to come over, that's that's great too for RE Bar Camp. Cool. All right, let's talk about um, Tuesday is, if there's a big day, Tuesday is the day we are gonna keep you busy from sunrise to uh, sunset. So again, everything is at the Hilton Riverside. Uh, we open up at 8 a.m. where we'll have uh, registration, coffee. Uh, we have two professional photographers there to take headshots for anybody that wants one, which is absolutely free. We'll have some other surprises. We'll have um, uh, all our uh, vendors there that you may want to talk to. The relaxation lounge will be open. Um, there's one other surprise I don't want to share yet, but there'll be other things going on before we start. And then we start with our general session at about um, nine o'clock straight up. And by design, we don't reveal, I have it all right here, but I'm not gonna show it to you all to you, Mike, because I really like to su surprise and delight people a bit. I'll give you a, you know, a little bit of uh, what's going to happen. And, and the best way to think about when we're in general session on Tuesday, there's a few things we wanna do. One is um, we've got exciting new things to tell all of you folks, and we wanna make sure you know about it. Um, we save it up, as a matter of fact, for the event. We'll make sure for EXP agents that can't be there, they'll find out too. But all of you that have flown all the way across the country, you've driven, you've got a hotel, you've flown, uh, we want to have important, cool stuff to tell you. We also want to make sure we get some smart agents up on stage during the general session to share their expertise. So we will um, have that uh, going as well. And then later in the day on Tuesday, my absolute favorite thing uh, maybe it's because I created this horrible long name for it, and that's what makes it fun for me. It's the super fantabulous EXP referral speed meet and greet. Uh, we did this last year, and three quarters of the agents loved it, and a quarter said, oh, my God, I lost my voice. What am I going to do for the next day? <laughs> so uh, I think this year we're going to have mints and throat lozenges, but think of it as long tables, um, kind of speed dating. You're across from another agent three minutes at a time, we give you some questions you can ask each other or you can ask whatever you want. But imagine all the potential referrals that may come your way wow. just by meeting a ton of agents in a short 45 minute period. It's loud. It's crazy. It's fun. And you get to meet a lot of agents you wouldn't normally meet. And then later throughout the rest of the event, you've made some new friends you can talk to as well. Wow, you know, I'm really excited about that. That's uh, that's that's something that I don't think a, a lot of people have had the experience of doing, ex especially those of us who have been married longer than ten years. Uh, <laughs> because the whole speed dating thing is is fairly recent, as I remember. So I'm I'm really interested to see how that goes. 
Yes, this is the only kind of speed dating my wife allows me to do. Um, <laughs> so this, is, this is the best kind because honestly, this could lead to a lot of business for any agent. Yeah. You know, uh, you're in the Ohio area and you meet a Florida agent that maybe uh, someone down there wants to move up or someone wants to go down there and be a snowbird. And there's a great way for you to meet a lot of folks and, and, and help each other out. Absolutely. Then um, later Tuesday, right after that. So remember, we're in kind of general session like registration and coffee start at eight. Uh, the official EXP con starts at nine. Um, we That will go. Uh, the super fantabulous will end around 445 or five. And then we give you a whole hour off. How about that? Just 60 minutes. And then we have our first ever block party. We're having the EXP con New Orleans block party that'll be right near all the hotels our guests are staying at. And that's just going to be crazy. All sorts of unbelievable food, beverage, drinks, costumes, uh, you name it. We are taking over a block of downtown New Orleans uh, for our badge wearing attendees. And, and it's going to be a, a fantastic event. Okay, that's that's supposedly going to mimic Mardi Gras, correct? It'll have uh, Mardi Gras. It'll be everything you think of in New Orleans in in a in a block that we have blocked off. That'll go from six to eight p.m. Make sure you have your badge. Uh, if you dressed up really nice the night before for the gala, you do not need to wear that type of clothing when you come to the block party. Come come comfortably. Uh, come ready to have a good time. And we're ending it kind of early because we wanted to give people. One night, if they do want to go have a, a nice dinner afterwards or they want to go explore Bourbon Street or whatever they want to do, we'll, we'll have tons of food and drink there. But it'll end early enough that if you want to go um, experience New Orleans, you'll be able to afterwards. Now, uh, just a reminder, you do have to wear clothes, though. You can't you can't come without clothes on. Yes, that's that's uh, the no clothes. Um, that was we were thinking about having the event on an island and decided against <laughs> that. So. Clothes will be um, required at our event in, uh, in New Orleans. All right. Um, let me go through quickly what's going to happen then on Wednesday. You're going to go to the block party Tuesday night. You still want to get back at a reasonable time because Wednesday we've got super cool stuff. Wednesday is what we're calling our big agent breakout day, BAB. And we will have some unbelievable sessions led by some of the top agents in the country on a variety of, of areas. Some are motivation, some are about listings, some are about being progressive. There'll just be a bunch of interesting things, and that'll take up uh, most of Wednesday morning. Then we'll go back into general session a little bit so we can hear from Glenn Sanford again and Mary Frances Coleman and, and the rest of us as we share some uh, final thoughts. And then, Mike, we will all collapse because it's going to be um, between Sunday night karaoke through to Wednesday at about noon. Uh, we are going to keep you guys busy pretty much 24-7. Then it will be time to sleep, right? Yes, I look forward to uh, – I, uh, I always tell the story. I've uh, been running events for years in real estate, and a few years ago I was at a super big event. I was on stage the whole time, and, you know, my Twitter handle was up there all the time, and, you know, just like you're supposed to do, and uh, the event was over. And it was in Vegas, and I went down to the pool, and I just fell asleep immediately. And I woke up, and my phone was going nuts. It was like overheating. And someone had taken a picture of me sleeping and posted it to the hashtag for the event, <laughs> saying, thanks, Mitch Robinson. We love the event. So uh, this year, I will be in complete disguise after the event. If you can find me, uh, good luck, because I'm not sure I want to torment anybody with a picture of me at the pool. Absolutely. Hey, is there a time limit for the relaxation room? No, if you want to spend your whole time in there, Mike, because you just want to kick back, um, you know, that's that's your personal uh, uh, decision. I mean, honestly, you know, we hope when we have worked super hard on the content for this event, um, the way I always describe it to our team is, you know, each one of you put down your personal credit card and you made a decision. Do I want to be at EXPCon? Do I want to go to NAR? Do I want to buy snow tires for my car? You have a, you know, your, your money is valuable and we think about that super seriously. So every session that we have on stage, we think there is content that will um, either help you understand EXP better, uh, help you maybe attract more agents if that's what you're going to do, and help you work with consumers that much better in the coming months. Yeah, that's amazing. Like, I, I cannot I cannot tell you how excited I am about going. Uh, this is my first one. Obviously, we joined back in February. 
Right. But um, it's just it to be a part of what's going on here at EXP. It just I, I, I talk about this almost every day, but I get out of bed um, just so excited about the change and the innovation and, uh, you know, getting to meet people like you and talk to people like you and a lot of our other agents. Uh, it's just been an amazing experience. Well, and I'll tell you, Mike, you know, I've, I've been running and, and going to real estate events for years and you go to some of these events and you're like, oh, I hope I maybe could see the founder before he goes into a room or boy, Scott Petronas, the chief technology officer, man, I maybe someday I'll get to talk to him. Our staff, we're there to talk to everybody. Yeah. Like we're not going to be hiding in conference rooms. We're not going to be hiding in, in meetings. You will find us everywhere. Um, when you uh, get to the event and you pick up your registration things, we'll have different color lanyards that tell you kind of who's who. Uh, members of the EXP World Holdings Board are there. They want to meet uh, all of our agents as well. Uh, true success to me to this event is besides all the content I talked about is that you as an agent get to engage with other agents and our staff throughout the event. Um, and that helps us as, as a company make sure we're doing the right thing to, to get that feedback from all of you. Yeah, that's awesome. How long do you think the line will be to meet Glenn? Well, I'll give you one little, you know, I hate to give away everything, but <laughs> if you don't get to meet Glenn, I believe his avatar is also going to be there as well. I don't oh, want to give anything more away, perfect. but uh, odds are you'll get to meet uh, some version of Glenn while we're at the event. I can, I can promise that. Yep. I, I just, I'm so excited, man. And, uh, Mitch, uh, thank you so much for taking a couple minutes out of your day. Is there anything else that you want to tell our audience before we, uh, part ways here? Yeah. I mean, I'll just tell, you know, again, the, the event is for, um, EXP agents. Um, we're right on the edge of the fire marshal telling us we're going to get in trouble for having too many people, but all the information that you need is at expcon2018 nola.com so if you're a last second agent you just join you're like wow can i still get in uh what hotel is open where can i see a basic agenda expcon 2018 nola.com uh that has the answers for you and we can still um if you want to like do the race or something or or participate um in other things there's information about that as well awesome awesome again hey Thank you so much, Mitch. I can't wait to uh, see you there and uh, and chat. And, and I'm so excited about um, just going and, and being a part of the culture, being a part of everything that we're creating. Great. Well, thank you, Mike. Um, I'll be on stage a lot. Everybody's going to be really tired of me by the end of the event. But every, anybody watching right now uh, on Facebook, please come up and find me and say, hey, I actually watched you on Facebook with Mike. Make sure and come up and, and say hi because I'd love to meet everybody. Could we do, could we, could you do like a, maybe like a double tug of your ear just to reference me? Just uh, for just, your uh, audience yeah. there? Yeah. yeah. I, I'll try, maybe I'll just come out with this cap so you recognize me. I'll come out with something. Love it. Love it, man. All right. I'll let you get back to it, Mitch. Thanks so much. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. See everybody in New Orleans. All right. See you later. You rocked it, man. Was that good? <laughs>